Hi guys, this is Grigor Personas, and today I want to talk about a bit of a yeah, stressful and frustrating topic, crashing projects, crashing songs, crashing DAWs. If you're affected by this, not just once in a while, but all the time, then you might be surprised to hear that Studio One is actually one of the leanest and most stable DAWs available today. Unfortunately, however, Studio One cannot fix problems that arise outside of Studio One. For example, with plugins that are outdated and considered a security or otherwise a threat by the operating system. The best solution in these situations by far is to spot that plugin that's crashing and updating it to the latest version that's compatible with both Studio One as well as your operating system. But for most users, understandably so, it didn't matter so much why it happened. The issue was that when it happened, you didn't really have a quick fix for it. Most people can live with the occasional crash here and there if you're back up and running as quickly as possible. But if one of your plugins crashed and you didn't know which one it was, it was kind of like looking for a needle in the haystack in big productions. And that's exactly where the brand new safety options come in that we introduced in Studio One 5.2. This is going to be a potential game changer for your system stability and your DAW performance in the future. When Studio One crashes and you open it up again, you're going to see this new Studio One safety dialog in Studio One 5.2 and up. If you already know what caused the crash, you can just click start at the bottom right to proceed as normal. But if you don't, then the safety manager can be an incredibly useful tool. In the best case scenario, it can tell you directly which plugin crashed and the entire search stops before it started. In my case, as you can see, I had to update the decapitator plugin and all the crashes immediately disappeared. The safety manager also makes it much easier to directly access your crash log by providing a direct link. And it also gives you a link to our tech support, which makes it even easier for you and for us to help you. For more advanced troubleshooting, you can disable VST2, VST3, Rewire, ARA support and more globally directly from this window. This helps you a lot with troubleshooting because say you disable VST3 and suddenly the song that always crashes opens up again, then it's very likely that a VST3 plugin is the problem. You can access the safety manager also without a crash by the way, just hold down the shift button as Studio One is loading up. If your issue is not across multiple songs, but just with one song specifically, we have yet another trick up our sleeves. From Studio One's start page, you can simply right click that troublemaking song and select open with options. This allows you to open up this specific song without either native Personas plugins or without any third party plugins or without ARA. These settings are only for this particular song, which is fantastic for very targeted troubleshooting without affecting other songs that are working perfectly fine. All of these start options are temporary and only applied once, so you don't have to worry about enabling plugins manually again when the troubleshooting is finished.